yeah, what is inner child work and you know, why is it so important? Yeah, so inner child work is something I, I actually stumbled upon on my dating journey. And I realized, you know, as I started to do a lot of this deep emotional work, you know, I was doing releasing, I was doing just like just general like self acceptance stuff, gratitude. What I re I start to think of my emotions almost as a child, right? Like the culmination of my emotions as a child, it was a really good way. Like I like to, I think that the conscious mind that's analytical will need to always understand things and it will always need like a justification. But when you can speak to yourself in stories and in metaphors, you're able to kind of bypass the logical mind and you're able to really get the emotional understandings. You're able to, to, to really have shifts emotionally through stories and metaphors and analogies. Um, so for me, I really resonated with this metaphor of a child. And I started to think of my emotions. Like I had a hard time, for example, accepting that I felt fear as a guy. And I had a hard time accepting the fact that I felt shame as a guy. But when I realized that shit, like what if my emotions are a child? And I started to, instead of like not only feeling that fear, imagining that fear as a little boy, as like a little Daniel who's like three years old or four years old, who's like crying and who is scared. Like if I can't show my fear some love and acceptance, can I at least show that child some love and acceptance? And, yeah. and I was like, yeah, yeah, I could do that. I could do that. I could be like a de almost like a proverbial dad for this inner child. And that created almost like a, oh, I don't, I don't even know the right word for it, but a paradigm in which I could actually heal myself. And a lot of guys have resistance, right? They have shame to accepting and, and loving their different painful emotions. But when you can bring that up in, in, a, in the form of a naive, innocent, helpless child, there is a sense of compassion and benevolence that yeah. you can act. You, you just, your heart just opens up when you visualize it that way. Your heart just cracks open. Because imagine like you saw a, ch a child that was crying and that was scared on the street. Would you give him a hug? Of course you would. Why not? You know, even I think even the most emotionally blocked off person would still have some sort of empathy for that. So when you could visualize your emotions as a child, it's a really good metaphor for allowing you to radically accept yourself. Um, <clears throat> and I always tell my clients that if you don't accept your emotions, it's as if you're like your house is your body and you have this inner child that's like locked out of the house that's standing outside. And he's never been loved. He's never been accepted. He's like banging on the door. Mm. It's raining outside. It's snowing outside. His tears are pouring down. He's scared. He's terrified. He just wants to go home. He just wants to be in your body. He wants to be accepted. And you're just not letting him come in. And when they could see it like that, from that point of view, they I, that kind of metaphorically allows them to open the door and start to accept those different parts of themselves.